What's up guys, it's Seb from Forever Two Wheelin' and today we are installing Boosted Brad Mids for M8 Touring. Let's do this. Uh, winter's just wrapping up here in Canada. We're uh, mid-April, it's friggin' rain season, so it's, uh, it's, it's time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drain the trans, drain the motor, drain everything. I got new oils for everything anyways. We're gonna pull this guy off and we're going to start on the brake side. So pop these three guys off. I already pulled this uh, exhaust stud out, which it is right here. She going, she's going in the spare parts pile. Check this thing out, god damn. So that's gonna bolt right up there. Uh, and one thing I'm noticing is wah, wah, wah. So I knew I was going to have to fix the back brake line, which is fine. I'm noticing there's some wizardry we're going to have to be doing. So I'm going to see if my guy can uh, somehow install this device on there. We shall see. I saw a photo once of a guy with a 21 Touring boosted Brad mids and he still had the um, old reservoir. This guy was still using his uh, just for the uh, for the brake wires, for the brake lights. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think I do. So hopefully my uh, buddy can get that going down over here and we can have some uh, sexy looking boosted brad mids. All right, so step one, guys. I uh, pulled the oil drain plug trans and primary I'm just gonna drain all the fluids I don't I'm not really one to pull out bolts on cases uh, without doing it everywhere it's kind of the proper way uh, some actual mechanics are probably gonna think I'm a dildo but that's all right same thing with the clutch cover uh, it's only these back three bolts so I'm gonna strip everything away, uh, do it properly, have a look. It's a brand new bike, there's nothing wrong. Just kind of clean things up, have a look inside, uh, do my thing, install my shit, put it back, torque it. If you like keeping your hands clean, pull all your plugs out of the bottom first. And since there's no ventilation, your oils will come out slowly. Once you got your plugs out, then come out and loosen up your caps. Then the oil will flow out nice and smooth keeping your hands nice and tidy. All right, for the primary guys, all I'm really gonna do, I'm not actually gonna take the outer primary off. I'm just gonna crack all the bolts loose uh, that way I can take these guys off co out completely, mount my mids, and then I'll retorque these as per the manufacturer's spec because there is a, a tightening order. If you look in your manuals, you may see something aligns with this guy. So they're actually starting at my mids. If I have a look here. At the bottom of the bell so it looks like they're starting here yeah one two three four five six seven eight and then they're coming back around here so just have a look at your manual they're uh, they're all different so you want to make sure if you're not a licensed tech you're doing it as per uh, manufacturer spec all right we'll grab our trusty 316s allen and we'll start going to town here
right, so we got things figured out. I received the boosted Brad mids, and it came with three spacers for these three bolts up here to bring the mids out towards me. Now that is actually not required uh, for the cable clutch models. Um, so what we've got to do here is we're going to run it, no spacers, uh, and this old exhaust stud has got to get cut back. This is completely useless now. Um, I definitely do not plan on ever putting forwards again uh, or the stock exhaust, so she gone. So I'm going to cut this back. Easiest way to do that is the, so the mids are going to be bolting on uh, directly to this uh, transmission uh, or clutch bearing housing, sorry. Uh, so I'm just going to take cap off real quick, throw a straight edge on there. That'll tell me roughly how much I need to cut. Um, and I'm going to start hacking. So once they're cracked loose guys and you see the washers are away from the case, the order doesn't really matter anymore. You just want to leave, relieve the pressure off of the case equally. Now they say to help, they say to help remove the case, you just pump the clutch lever a couple times. Uh, but mine's disconnected at the lever because I'm putting uh, an Oberon adjustable lever on there. Um, we'll see if I could put uh, a link to it on the screen. And so right now I'm just going to use a soft mallet and give that a couple light taps. See if we get lucky. Yep, there we go. Guys, I got the transmission cover off. Uh, the next thing I'm going to loosen up this um, transmission bearing housing. I'm just going to crack the bolts to take the tension off, and that's it. Same thing. Check your owner's manual for the uh, untightening and retorquing sequence. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. It's as far as I'm going. Now that all the tension is off, I can pop these three bolts off. I can put my mid on and I can basically snug everything back up, take every bolt out one at a time, take this one out, lock tight it, put it back in, uh, snug it up, same thing, same order. And that way I'll have fresh lock tight everywhere and the case will never come off. All right, next step, I'm just going to pull these three bolts out. Now that I cracked the tension off the case, these are the three. And I want to pull out to install the mid. I'm just going to set these down on the bike lift in the sequence that they're in. Sometimes they're different lengths. So I'm just gonna basically sit them down in an L shape on the lift, just as a reminder. Let's talk brake line for a sec. So this guy here is the rear brake uh, with the line going from the ABS module to the master cylinder. So from here, coming down and around, we are all factory. So factory, factory, plug, 
So this is where we got into making our own piece. So you got a lot of options for brake lines. There's even the Russell, uh, those are all prefab. All we did was we had this section made locally. Uh, we relocated, you can see I do not have the OEM rear brake cylinder. Uh, master cylinder, sorry, which was up here. You also had the switch. So all of that switch is relocated behind here. So you can see we kept that fitting. We relocated that, flared the ends into our new piece. Again, there's the switch. So we just flared this brake line, put these fittings, flared this guy, put this fitting and had this made. And for 60 bucks, including labor, I've got pretty much an OEM brake line. And it didn't cost me 250 bucks in uh, Russell parts that I had to assemble myself. I had a local guy do this. Uh, one word to the wise, if you do have a local uh, break company who makes hoses you'll want to make sure you have and ask them my guy needed at least four inches of rubber hose to put it in his machine to pressure test it uh, we do not have four inches so we could not get a pressure tested so whenever we bled the brakes we basically held this down for 30 seconds and it didn't move so I think we're pretty good now this bike, I am returning it to the dealer to do a CVO flash. We are also doing a uh, tune. Um, and I'm going to have him just go over the ABS real quick and make sure we're good. So because I'm already having them look after the ABS, because my ABS light's on now. So I'm going to have to have them clear that. And while they're doing it, they can have a look, make sure my brakes are functioning properly and yada, yada. guys boosted brad mids are installed so what i ended up doing is i took the transmission cover off i ended up loosening all my bearing housing screws uh installed the mids without the spacers uh just with the inch and a half bolts after i cut off the um oem exhaust stud that is no longer required Whenever I put this cap back on, I fished the uh, clutch cable through the master cylinder hose, buttoned everything backed up, uh, locked tight, torqued down. So this is the first time I'm sitting on the bike with the mids. So hopefully I measured everything good. I'm sure I still got to tweak some shit. But that seems to be Fucking badass. So the nice thing with these original Garage Moto floorboards, I can adjust them forward, I can adjust them backward. I may, feels pretty good actually. I may or may not uh, raise this lever height, uh, the brake lever, but I don't know. That's pretty sweet. Can stretch out on the highway. Fuck yeah. That's it. SPV Fab Exhaust is next.